Padre Luis, good morning and welcome to this live broadcast of the Divine Liturgy of the Armenian Church, celebrated at St. Vartan Armenian Cathedral in New York City. This is a special occasion in the Armenian Church, the major feast day of the Christian calendar, Easter Sunday, or Surp Zadig in Armenian. It's the celebration of the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ and his victory over sin and death. It's a theme that is especially meaningful today after the trials and tribulations of the past three years. But on this Easter morning, St. Vartan Cathedral is blessed by the presence of worshipers, a full complement of choir singers and deacons, and of course our celebrant for this occasion, the very Reverend Father Mesrop Parsamian, the primate of the Diocese of the Armenian Church of America. Today marks his first Easter celebration as primate. Father Mesrop was elected as the 13th primate of the Eastern Diocese just last May. People are aware that he spent the latter half of last year recovering from injuries he sustained in a car accident. However, I am very happy to say he will be on the altar today, celebrating the liturgy, delivering the homily, and leading the special ceremony that will conclude today's Easter service. More on that later. Needless to say, we all feel blessed over his recovery. The Lord has surely answered the prayers of our community, and we will continue to pray for our primates' complete healing. We are also blessed by the presence of you, our viewing audience. If you're listening to my words, you are a part of the Badarak today. Our viewers hail from across the country and around the world, but wherever you are, on this of all days, we are all joined spiritually with each other and with our Lord. My name is Christopher Zakian, and it will be my pleasure to spend this time with all of you. It goes without saying that this has been a time of hardship for us all. The Armenian people have borne unusually painful burdens, especially our countrymen in our homeland of Armenia and Artsakh. We hope the prayers in this cathedral will offer some measure of consolation to all who have experienced suffering and loss during this time. Easter, however, is above all an occasion of joy and hope and nothing on earth can alter that. So I welcome our viewers with the words of the great Armenian greeting, Christos Haryav Imerelots, Christ is risen from the dead. Father Mesrop will shortly enter the sanctuary in a procession of deacons to confer his blessing on the worshipers. And what a welcome sight that will be. Amen. Amen.
Asan Sarkogo Asvazas in Parehosutiana, Der and Gaza Rachanas Media gets all smiths. Gazel Sarachana Smer Parehosutiam Sarkovo Asvazasnin, Anarad Zunogimiatsni Vortvoko, Yevarachano Gamena in Sarkotsko, Tevavurish Norit, Lurmester Yevormia, Nedia, Kavia Yevkovas Meras Smer, Arjana Vuriago Utiam Paravorela Skets, and Vortvoyev and Sarkohok Vuit, Aishem Yevmish, Yevavitiana Savitenit, Amen, Meras Tuzo. Kosovani Marachi Astuzo, Yev Serkovo Asvazasni, Yevarachi Amena in Serkots, Yevarachi Serhar, Kevek Park Zamena in Meras or Skorzialem, Kanzi Mera Horto, Pani Vev Korzo, Yevamena in Meros or Korzen Martik, Mera Mera Rachemus says, Kantrecek Vasnim, Astuzo, Skorutium. Vor Messikes, Marta Sernas Vaz, Yev Totun, Snoresam and Ain Hansanat Kot, Anselu in Yevajmus. Եվ հարաճագայեմ փրգես ես քեզ եւ հասադես ես ամենայն կոր դսպարիս եւ հանկուս ես քեզ ի հանդերձյալ գյանսն ամեն ազատես ես ես մարտասերն աստված եւ թող ես ամենայն հանցանը սեր դաց է ժամանակաբ աշխարելո եւ կորձելո սպարիս ուղես ես զարաճիկա գյանը սեր շնորհով սուրբ հոգուին հզորն եւ ողորմածն եւ նմա փար քավիտյանս ամեն հիշես չիր եւ զմես առաջի անմա կարին նաստուծո հիշե ալիչի կարաչի անմա կարին նաստուծո ա եթե կարդեր ամեն այն երջիր տարա եթե ջան ուրախությո Ջարիս եւ առաջի աստված ընկալ եւ բայց առաջի ասուտ նշանացս եւ սուրբ դեղբույս խոնար յար երկյուղի երկիր բականեմ ըս սուրբ ըս հրաշալի եւ ըս հաղթող ըս հարությունը քո Քրիստոս աստված մեր օրնենք եւ փառավորենք եւ քեզ մատուցան եմ զորնություն եւ ըս փառս ընդհոր եւ ընդհոք քույց սրփո այժմ եւ միշտ եւ ավիդյանը սավիդենից ամեն մտից առաջի սեղանու աստուծո առաստված որ ուրախ առնես մանկությունիմ Հասկեց <speaking> որ <in foreign language> Հոսնովան եղեցքես օրտությամբ աստված աստվածին Ասվածմենք ես 
سور بیه و سرآشالی بیه و سخت و و سارو چونت کرد نه اینکه فراوره یه کزن یک نه این زور سمادوسانم زور نشون یه و سپار اصلا طوری و انتک بود سرپو ایش میه میشی و بیتیا سویده نیت سامه Welcome again to St. Barton Cathedral in New York for our Easter Sunday Divine Liturgy. The Divine Liturgy is our most important act of worship in the Armenian Church. The entire liturgy is a symbolic reenactment of the life and ministry of Jesus Christ. In particular, it's the Church's way of representing the Last Supper when Jesus blessed bread and wine as his own body and blood which were to be sacrificed the following day on the cross. And he told his followers to repeat this act, to do this in remembrance of me. The Badrak is a continuation of that act of remembrance and communion with Jesus. The curtain is closed at this time to symbolize the fact that the Son of God was mystically conceived and born of the Holy Virgin Mary. But there are important actions going on behind the curtain right now concerning the preparation of the gifts of bread and wine. Following this preparation, the curtain will reopen and the celebrant will descend into the sanctuary. And that procession is symbolic of Christ moving among his people as a teacher during his ministry.
moment ago we heard for the first time the great Easter greeting of the Armenian Church, Christos Hariav Imerelots, Christ is risen from the dead. As I said earlier, this is part of the procession symbolizing Christ's ministry in the world, his preaching and his being among the people. And when Father Mesrob, when the celebrant goes back up on the altar as he's doing now, we will enter the second part of the liturgy called the Synaxis. That's the teaching part of the liturgy. Some things to watch out for. Look for when the deacon raises the gospel book. That marks the beginning of the lesser entrance, which symbolizes the entrance of the word of God among his people. And it's at that point that we'll hear the scripture readings for the day. The deacon will ask us to pay special attention to the gospel or good news in Armenian, the Avedis of the Lord, for this is Jesus Christ himself talking with his people. And then immediately following the scripture reading, we'll have the Nicene Creed, the Havadank, the We Believe, which was written in the fourth century at the first two ecumenical councils of the worldwide Christian church. The creed is a summary of the fundamental Christian beliefs, the constitution of Christian orthodoxy. In its essentials, the Nicene Creed is something all the ancient apostolic churches hold in common. You'll hear versions of it recited in Catholic and Orthodox churches. And there are variations between the churches that are small, but consequential, often the result of separation through the centuries. But the basic doctrines expressed convey the foundation. <laughs> With those words, Father Mesrob actually started the synaxis, the teaching part of the of the liturgy. What nyal takavorutyun, blessed is the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And as I said about the creed, the basic doctrines expressed in the, in the foundation for the theological understandings of all the ancient churches.
ոչոն եւ զորոչոն եւ փարքավիջաս ամեն Ես եւ մարտասեր ես աստված գոլով եւ քես վայել է փարկ իշխանություն եւ բադիվ այժմ եւ միշտ եւ հավիտյանս հավիտենից ամեն Ալելույա ալելույա Ընթերցում ոչ կարակելոս լամագեն Առաջին պատմությունը քրի արի ո Թեոֆիլոս Բոլոր այն փաներում մասին Զոր Հիսուսը սկսավնել եւ ուսուցանել մինչև այն օրը երբ Սուրբ Հոգի միջոցով բաց վեր դվավարականներուն Զոր ինք ընդրաձեր եւ համբարձավ Ան իր չաչարանքներեն հետո ինքսինք գենթանին երգայացուց անոնց արջեւ 40 օրերու ընթացքին երերնալով անոնց զարմանալի շատ քորձերով եւ խոսելով աստուծո արքայիթյան մասին Եվ անոնց հետ հացով հաղորդվելով բաց վեր դվավ անոնց որ Երուսաղեմեն չմեկնին այլ սպասեն հոր ավետիսին զոր ըսավ ան լսեցիկ ինձ մե որովհետեւ հովաներ չուրոմը գրդեց բայց թուք այս օրերեն շատ ճանցած բիդի մգրդվիք սուրբ հոգիով եւ անոնք մոդենալով հարցուցին անոր ուսին դեր Այս ժամանակից մեջ պիտի վերա հաստատես Իսրայելի թակավորությունը Հիսուս հսավ անոնց Ցեզի դրված չէ գիտնալ այն ժամերը եւ ժամանակները զոր հայրը հաստատեց իր իշխանության մեջ Այ երբ Սուրբոքին իջնեց էր վրա զորություն պիտի արնեք եւ վկաներ պիտի լակ ինձի համար Երուսաղեմի մեջ 
ամպոչ Հրեաստանի ու Սամարիայի մեջ եւ ինչև երկրի ծայրերը ամեն Alleluia, alleluia. Praise is due to you, O Lord, in Sion, and unto you prayer shall be offered in Jerusalem. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, when the, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Here ends the reading. Sanarutian tiaran mero Isusi Christosi Mia shapti aravotun arevata kingerezman yekan Uidaruka sein O mezi amar pitigalore kare 
Սպիտակպատմության <speaking in foreign language> Բայց կացեք ասեք անոր աշակերտներուն եւ Պետրոսի թե անցես մի առաջ Գալիլեա գերթա ոմ պիտի տեսնեք զինք ինչպես որը սա ծեր ծեզի եւ երբ լսեցին գերեզմանեն յելան եւ փախան որովհետեւ զարուրացին եւ ոչ մեկ ու բանասին քանի Kavachnai Իսկ մեր պարավորեցում, որ առաջ կանսավիտ երանը 
Well, we've now completed the synaxis, the teaching part of the liturgy, where we met God through his words. And now we've moved on to the holy sacrifice, the Badarat proper, the most important part of the, of the divine liturgy, where we're going to meet God in a very different way. In the early years of the church, this was a great mystery, a secret. So those who were not baptized, called the catechumens, or even those who were in a state of penance were not permitted to remain in the sanctuary for the holy sacrifice. In this part of the liturgy, we're going to see the bread and wine brought by the deacon to the celebrant in what is called the great entrance. It's the dramatic focal point of the liturgy, where the chalice containing the elements of communion, the body and blood of Christ, is greeted with great solemnity and perhaps even trembling on the part of the celebrant and the congregation. Here it comes now. Watch for the celebrant to remove his crown and slippers. This is a sign of his humility and unworthiness to offer the sacrifice, but it's not only that. It's also his acknowledgement that there is one king in the church at this moment, Christ, and he's coming in the chalice. Ortnial, Yekial, Amvam Tiarat, Ortnial, Vor Yekiriev Kalotstes, Ortnuchun, Ipartsunas. Հառության եմ առաջիքով Հիստոս ուղում են ոգև որական են կազ զաղաշան ես սարայց պրոտ եվ կեսոս մեզ։ Now the bread and wine have been brought to the altar before God and now the worshippers demonstrate how they too have been joined together by embracing each other in Christ's name. That's the kiss of peace 
or Volchuin, which has now become a stylized, ceremonial form of the original. The one who gives the kiss of peace says, Christos imech mer haidnetzav, Christ is revealed again among us. And the person who receives it answers, Ordnjale haidnutjunen Christosi, blessed is the revelation of Christ. Very shortly we're going to hear the Sanctus or Surp Surp, beautifully rendered by the St. Vartan Cathedral Choir, one of the most beloved hymns of the Armenian Church and very mystical. Its words are taken in part from the book of the prophet Isaiah, while the phrase, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, are the words used by the crowds hailing Jesus 
on the first Palm Sunday. The Sanctus is understood to be the song that the heavenly host, the army of angels, sing in praise to God for all eternity. So try to picture that as you listen to it. So what we just heard, intoned by Father Mesrob, are the very words that Jesus used at the Last Supper. Arek, erek, 
Ice et marminium, take, eat, this is my body, which is given to you for forgiveness and remission of sin. And then, drink ye of this, my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for propitiation and remission of sin. When we hear those words in the Badrak, we're hearing the voice of Jesus speaking to us through the ages. Jeva skoi si koyons kes maduzanem astamen aini evaraks amenetsu. Vorbesi eriti sa menetzon mes mercetelos anda da bardu tioni kabo tion ye vitoro tion Svazatnin ser pogusin Maria mu, je vovano magarčen, ste panosi na kavgain je vamena ser pogus, je rici šadagi surba darak sarače. Arakelos ser pogus, 
Now that the consecration of the gifts has been accomplished, all the great saints, martyrs, and patriarchs of the Church are remembered before God. It's been a tradition from the earliest days of the Church to also remember the local bishop or priests as Christ's representatives of his people. Because the Armenian Church has a supreme head, the Catholicos of all Armenians will also pray for God's blessing upon him. And of course, for the celebrant who offers the liturgy. This is the section called the Intercessions. In these intercessions, we'll hear the deacons invoke the names of Saints Thaddeus and Bartholomew, the apostles of Jesus who first brought Christianity to Armenia, and also Saint Gregory the Illuminator, Armenia's patron saint, who converted the Armenian King Dirtad to the faith and ensured that Armenia would become the world's first Christian kingdom in the year of our Lord 301.
մեծից աստուծո երբերքիս մերո հիսուսի քրիստոսի անցես ընտամենսյա These are the, the pre-communion rites being sung by the deacons and, and the soloists of the St. Vartan Armenian Church, uh, uh, St. Vartan Cathedral Choir. We're approaching a very special part of the liturgy when the church will sing the Haid Mer, the, the Lord's Prayer. The celebrant makes the point earlier in the service that the patriarchs and prophets of old did not typically call God Father. It's largely through Jesus that human beings began to think of themselves as children of God. And so in the singing of the Lord's Prayer we're privileged and honored to be allowed to call God the almighty creator of the universe, our father, Haid Mer. As his children, the entire church will face the altar and pray, Haid Mer Borhegin says, our father who art in heaven. Armenians typically utter these words in a distinctive prayer posture, holding the palms open and lifted at chest level. The clergy, deacons, choir, and the entire congregation will sing the Lord's Prayer with great feeling and emotion and I invite you, our home viewer, viewers, to join them when that happens in just a moment.
Եվ դուր մեզ ամարցագացա իմ պարպարով անալը սպերանս մեր, գարթալը սկես եգնավորը թայր, երկեն եվ ասեր։
Badvagan marno ye varene diaran mero ye perkchen Isusi Christosi jashage suk serputia vorichali eknis vashi michi mero saegyan huis harutun kavutun ye torutun meras sarmo sasate. Yar nas tu zomerum sarmos atsatse yeknavor takavor ismerum anmahe vornes digaras kero peyakas. And now the lights will dim in the sanctuary. The congregants kneel down and we'll hear the deeply affecting hymn, Der Vohormia, Lord have mercy. It's become a very emotional moment in the Armenian worship service. The church asks for God's mercy on the sick, the grieving, the dead awaiting judgment, mercy on our individual afflictions and those endured by the entire world. There's a special poignancy in the hymn, Der Vohormia, in these days, of course, and especially in our holy homeland of Armenia and Artsakh, Please include our countrymen in the homeland 
and especially in Artsakh, in your prayers today.
now from the depths of our neediness, the faithful are going to rise to their feet as the lights brighten and the choir sings the hymn Orniale Astvads, Blessed is God, which might be called the Hallelujah Chorus of the Armenian Church. It's in this aspect of overcoming and joy that we'll proceed to confession and Holy Communion. Սիրելի ներ հիմա խոստովանության խորուրդի բահն է, պոլոր անոնք, որ բադրաստ են սուր պաղորդությունը ստանալու, գխնդրենք, որ ձեր տեղվույն վրա մասնակցիկ խոստովանության խորուրդին։ All those that are prepared to receive Holy Communion, now it is time to confess your sins. Please remain in your pews and participate in the sacrament of Holy Confession. After the confession, the Holy Communion will be distributed from both sides of the altar. Please proceed from the middle, receive Holy Communion, and re re return to your pews from the sides. Sur pagortutune yergu teren, horani yergu koveren bidi pashvi. Gehantrenk vor mech teren modenag, koveren hagortutune astanak, ye veratarnak ser degeren. Հանուն հոր եւ օրթվո եւ հոգվույն սրփո ամեն։ Մեղա ամենասուրբ երրորդությանն հոր եւ օրթվո եւ հոգվույն սրփո մեղուցյալ եմ աստուծով Խոստովանիմ առաջի աստուծով եւ սրփովո աստվածածնին եւ առաջի քո հայրցուս ծամենայն մեղը զոր գործյալ եմ քանզի մեղա խորտով բանիվ եւ գործով կամա եւ ակամա գիտությամբ եւ անգիտությամբ մեղա աստուծով Աստված թողություն շնորհեսեմ մեկ գատ գրանտ յո ֆորգիվնես Մեղա 7-ից հանցանոք մահացու մեղո կպարտությամբ նախանձու բարկությամբ ծուլությամբ ագահությամբ ողտրամոլությամբ բղճախոհությամբ եւ մասամբ քսոցին Մեղա աստուծո Աստված թողություն շնորհեսեմ մեկ գատ գրանտ յո ֆորգիվնես Այլ եւ Մեղա ամեն այն պատվիրանացն աստուծո հանձնարելիացն եւ հրաժարելիացն զի ոչ հանձնարականցն կատարեցի եւ ոչ ի հրաժարելիացն հերացա զորենես արի եւ հորինացն հեղկացա ի կարգս քրիստոնեության հրավիրեցա եւ գործովս անարժան գտա գիտելովս ճարն կամավ կորացա եւ ի բարյաց գործոց ես ինձ են հերացա վայ ինձ վայ ինձ վայ ինձ զորն ասեմ կամ զորն խոստովանիմ զիան թիվ են հանցանք իմ 
Հոստովանացելոցն <Sessizlik> Եվ դարձյալ դամս ձեզ իր խորուրդը սուրբ եկեղեցվո թե զոր ինչ կորդիցեք Փարիս եղիցի ձեզ իր փարեկորդություն եւ իր փարս հանդերձյալ գենացն ամեն Holy Communion is the climax of the whole liturgy. Christ invites his faithful to his spiritual banquet each time we attend the Badarak. In the Armenian Church, the sacrament of Holy Communion is essential to the life of holiness and to personal salvation. It's something you can only receive in person, either in church or by arranging a visitation by a priest. And it's really the culmination, the purpose of the splendid spectacle of the Divine Liturgy. So to everyone watching this today, if you've been moved by what you've seen and heard today, please feel encouraged to seek out your local church and complete the experience of the Badarak and receive Christ's body and blood. You'll be most welcome to approach the Lord's altar. For viewers just tuning in, this is the Easter Sunday Divine Liturgy at St. Vartan Armenian Cathedral in New York City. Father Mesrob Parsamyan is celebrating the Badarak, the Divine Liturgy, and we welcome you to this beautiful occasion. Easter is the culmination of Holy Week in the Armenian Church. Holy Week itself is the dramatic reenactment of the events leading to the resurrection of Jesus Christ, his victory over death, and the redemption of humanity and the fallen world. The Armenian Church reenacts these episodes in the days leading up to Easter. It began on Palm Sunday, last Sunday, with Jesus' triumphant 
entry into Jerusalem. The services continued on Holy Thursday, which commemorates the Last Supper with the dramatic Chavarum service, the vigil in darkness. And it proceeds to Holy Friday with the order of crucifixion and the entombment of the Lord, the Tarum service, in which Jesus is on the cross and dies. And then on Holy Saturday, there is a scripture reading ceremony, and in the evening, the Jirakaluits, or lamp lighting service. And finally, the drama of Holy Week brings us to Easter Sunday today, the discovery of Christ's empty tomb and the news, the evidence of his glorious resurrection. Today isn't the end of our Easter celebration. In the Armenian Church, Easter itself is the beginning of a 50-day period called Eastertide, or Hinunk in Armenian, which is dedicated to the mystery of the resurrected Savior and his encounters with his followers. Throughout the service, of course, we've been listening to the beautiful renderings of the Armenian hymns, the Sharagans, by the St. Vartan Cathedral Choir, directed by the great maestro Choren Mekhanedjian, with Florence Savakian accompanying on the alt organ. This is a suitable time to remind our viewers that St. Vartan Cathedral is pleased to bring you this broadcast as a gift to our devoted faithful. Recent years have surely brought a share of hardship to us all, but if it is in your heart, and if you have the means, please feel free to offer a voluntary gift in return. Donation links on the Eastern Diocese Facebook page and on our website, armenianchurch.org. US will lead you to our secure server where your contribution will be most welcome. Once again, the donation link can be found at armenianchurch.us. And of course, we are deeply grateful for your gracious generosity. We're also well, uh, grateful for your comments and thoughts. They're all dearly welcome on our online forums. 
So please, if you're watching and you have a computer in front of you, let us know what you're thinking and feeling. We have a very full sanctuary today at St. Vartan Cathedral and a lot of people taking communion. So let me take this time to offer a little background on our primate, Father Mes Mesrob Parsamyan. He's a native of Yerevan, Armenia, attended the Gavorkian Seminary at the Mother See of Holy Etchmiadzin, and is a member of the Mother See's monastic brotherhood. 
He was uh, educated in Strasbourg and Dublin and has served the church in Belgium, Switzerland, and France, as well as in Armenia. He first came to the United States in 2015 when he took up the pastorship of our diocesan parish in Belleville, Illinois, Holy Shoragat Church. After two years there, he was called to serve at the Diocesan Center in New York as its Director of Ministries and later as Vicar of St. Vartan Cathedral. And then at the end of 2019, Father Mesrob answered the call of His Holiness Karakin II, the Catholicos of all Armenians, to return to Armenia and take up a new role as Dean of Gevorgyan Seminary. He led the seminary through the ensuing years of trial through the pandemic and the war on Artsakh before completing his mission for Catholicos Karakin and returning to America. His election as primate took place last spring during the 120th Diocesan Assembly, and with the blessing of Catholicos Karakin, Father Mesro became the 13th primate of the Eastern Diocese. But then, only two months into his role, disaster struck in the form of an automobile accident. Father Mesrob was gravely injured, spent weeks undergoing surgery on his damaged legs and months in rehab facilities in upstate New York and Manhattan. The entire Armenian church and our entire community, for that matter, prayed for his recovery to health and activity. And, praise God, Parkastudzo, those prayers were answered. Father Mesrob is on his feet again, as you have seen, recently resumed his travel schedule of Paris parish visitations, and recently we received word that he will be consecrated as a bishop later this year. The Catholicos of all Armenians, His Holiness Karakin II, will confer that sacrament in a grand ceremony at Holy Etchmiadzin in Armenia this coming October. The diocese will be sending news about that in the months to come. I can add that Father Mesrob was very eager to celebrate this Easter Badarak with all the faithful of our diocese, as we will see in just a few moments when he speaks to us as he delivers his homily.
While communion is drawing to a close, we'll put up a outdoor shot of the plaza of St. Vartan Cathedral. After the Badarak, after High Surup's sermon and the conclusion of the Badarak, the entire procession is going to come outside. Um, and you can see the spot where we will hold the blessing of the doves ceremony. Um, for decades, it's been a famous feature of the St. Vartan Cathedral Easter celebration. It was suspended for a few years during the pandemic, like so many other good things. But um, it's a great pleasure to see it restored again as a part of the Easter Sunday tradition here. And we'll see that after the sermon, at the conclusion of the Badarak. People are already starting to congregate out there. Um, it's a notable event in New York City. Sotere shovurte skoye vortnya sharan kuchuna skoho viaye parzatso so sai smede minche vabitiam.
And now Father Mesrob will deliver the homily for his first Christos Easter Badarat as primate. Christ is risen from the dead. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this beautiful Easter morning, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whether you are here, present here at St. Vartan Cathedral, or watching us online. Today we stand as witnesses to the glory of our Lord's resurrection. As the first very Christians, we can proclaim this miracle to the world. The Apostle Peter was one of those who witnessed the miracle we celebrate today, the resurrection. With his brother's apostles, he spread the good news across the world. And when his Christian brothers and sisters were living through a time of crisis, he wrote these words to reassure their hearts. I quote, Place your worries on God, for he cares about you. Stand firm in your faith, for you know that the whole family of believers throughout the world suffers along with you. But after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who in Christ called you to his eternal glory, will restore you all by himself, make you strong, firm, and steadfast, for his is the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, in those days, the church was very young. The early Christians had so much to lose, and they had no experience of history to calm their spirits. So Peter wrote to strengthen their hearts with the wisdom he had gained from his years of service alongside our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, the pain of your loss is real, but you are not alone in your suffering. God always cares for you, and when the time comes, he will restore you. What made Peter so confident that God would restore his people, no matter what befell them? The answer is, he had lived through one single day. He witnessed something on that day that changed his perspective forever. He witnessed the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ on the first Easter Sunday. And he knew the world would never be the same. Just think of what it means for a dead man to come back to life. It goes against the fundamental rules of the universe where all things decay, all living creatures move towards death. Peter knew that Christ, too, had died, died a painful and horrible death. And yet, three days later, he had seen Christ restored to life. And more, he heard the promise from Christ's own lips that God would restore every person who placed his or her faith in the resurrection of the Lord. Peter knew that Christ conquered death to restore human beings to what they were meant to be, to make us new again. Sireli kudet ev ekhparnes sub zatki ais kheretsi karavot tsez polorit gvokhchune mer der Jesus Christosi harutsian avedisov yev guzem antertsel bogo Pedros Arrakiali ain khoskere vor katime ir kuderun yev ekhparnerum ovker vor tshvarutsuneri yev negutsuneri mech kantsnen Sur Pedros Arrakial ke kere tsel amen hoka anor varats ketsek vasin zi anigats ezi hamar ge hoka hastadun gatsek havatkin mech kitnalo vor tsel yekhparnerna ais ashkhari mech nuin charcharankner ge gren 
և փոլոր շնորներու աստվածը որ մեզ իր հավիտենական փարքին գանչեց հիսուս քրիստոսի միջոցով քիչ մահդեն նեղություն գրել է ետքը ինքը ծես թող գադարյալ ընե հաստադե զորացնե ու հիմնե իրեն փարք եւ զորություն հավիտյանս ամեն սիրելիներ առաջին տարուն քրիստոնեական եկեղեցին դագավին երիտասարդ շատ թժվարություններու հալածանքներու եւ նեղությունների միջով անցավ եւ սակայն բեդրոս առաքյալը եւ մյուս առաքյալներն ալ կհորթոր էին ժողովուրդին որ հաստատուն մնան իրենց հավատքի մեջ երբ եք չնգրգեն չհուսահատվեն որովհետեւ աստված ցեզի հետ է որովհետեւ աստված պիտի զորացնե աստված այս ժամանակավոր նեղութենեն անցկացնելով ցեզի պիտի հաստատե հիմնե ինչպես գսե բեդրոս առաքյալը եւ զորացնե եւ այդ ինքնավստահությունը որ ուներ առաքյալը այդ հավատքի ուժը եւ զորությունը սիրելիներ գուկար որովհետեւ բեդրոս առաքյալ դեսած էր հարություն առած հիսուս քրիստոսին եւ պատրաստ էր այդ իրականության համար այդ անցին համար իր դիրոջ մեր դիրոջ հիսուս քրիստոսի համար իր ցանկը դալ եւ դվավ եւ մյուս առաքյալներն ալ որովհետեւ իրենց աչքերով դեսած էին հարությալ հիսուս քրիստոս եւ հավիտենական ցանկի խոստումը ունեին եւ այդ խոստման աբավինելով եւ վստահելով է որ փոլոր առաքյալները նահատակվեցին բացի հովանայես ավետարանի չեն փոլոր իրենց ցանկը տվեցին այս թժվարություններու նեղությունների միջով անցան սակայն հիսուս քրիստոսի հավատքը հարության իրավությունը զորացուց անոնց եւ անոնք է որ այս ավետիսը փոխանցեցին մեզ այսօր 21-րդ թարու աբրողներուս friends all of us have had something precious that has been broken or deteriorated do you simply throw the object away when that happens of course not you do everything in your power to restore it to make it like new again and you restore it because you still value that object you love it and you care for it later this year we will undertake the restoration of saint vartan cathedral this beautiful cathedral the structure is 50 years old the roof is leaking the systems are failing it needs to be prepared brought back to its original beautiful condition that task will be expensive and time consuming but we will do it i am completely confident we will raise the funds hire the experts restore the cathedral make it new again we will do it as a community of faith as a diocese because we love this cathedral we care about it and we want it to remain standing as a testament of the enduring strength of our faith for generations to come we still value this place and what it stands for we love it and so we care for it and that is how god sees his children as well from the dawn of time mankind has disobeyed god rejected him turned away from him we were broken and god could have just cast us off and let us crumble into decay and death but he did something else out of his love for us he sent his only begotten son in jesus christ god took upon himself the broken human condition and restored it to what it was meant to be and made it new again he brought nourishment to the hungry healing to the sick consolation to the grieving to the confused he offered an example of upright godly behavior to the sinful he offered forgiveness finally to the dead the dead in body as well as the dead in spirit christ offered life but these blessings came at gr- great cost christ struggled and endured great suffering on our behalf his final battle was waged on the cross 
and for a time it looked like death had won. But on Easter Sunday, Christ was raised from the dead. And through his victory, we were saved. Friends, in the Armenian church, our icon painters portrayed the resurrection in a vivid, dramatic way. You can see the scene here on the right corner at the top of the stained glass window and also on the bulletin in your hand, the icon which is called the harrowing of the hell. And here you see the risen Christ defeating death and evil. He burst into the kingdom of darkness. He tramples death. He reaches out his strong arm, lifts mankind out of cap captivity, and restores us to his heavenly Father. Christian artists captured the moment like a snapshot from the front lines of the battle for the human soul. They portrayed a vital heroic Christ, and it is easy to see why this image spoke so powerfully to our people. My friends, it speaks to us today as well. It spoke to me when I was in the hospital and uh, in the rehab. Going through that difficulty, challenges, I felt that God extended his arm to save me. And today I am standing in front of you to witness the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to share that God, good news because God in his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, extended his arm and saved me. And also thanks to all of your prayers, and I am grateful for that. Friends, that image speaks to us today as well, for we too live in a time of many trials. The world is exhausted from years of illness and isolation. Our precious homeland of Armenia and Artsakh is dealing with the perilous aftermath of war. The Lachin Corridor is still in the blockade, and we are praying for our brothers and sisters in Artsakh. And on this Easter Sunday, we pray and we hope and we ask our Heavenly Father to deliver our people in Artsakh from all the enemies, visible and invisible. Sireliner, I saw meng tejvarin jamanag ner gabring. Mer tangakin hayastan yev Artsakh ashkara het baderas mian tejvarutsum neru mechen. Lachini michans ke dagavin shurcha pagman meche Artsakh shurcha pagman meche yev mer kuder yev ekpaner Artsakh imech. Himnagan Oktutian Garikunin, Yevai Sor Zadgi as Keretsigore, Garoteng, Yev Gehantreng Merastusme, Vorbesi Astvat, Zorat Seme Jorovurta, Yev Azadutun, Yev Harutun Barkeve, Hayastan Merashkarin, Yev Artsakh Merashkarin, Yev Hosal, Miatial Nahank Nerumech, Mes Aruria Gankimech, Torasso Nergayutun, Zorat Snemezi, Medirochi Sus Christosi Harutian, Ira Ganutuna, Husatre, Kachalere, Evocation Chemezi, Vorbesi Garoganang, Polor, Tejvarutuneru, Yevnerutuneru Michov, Ansnid. We long to be restored, my friends, to the way we were meant to be, to be made new again. But there is only one power great enough to realize this hope the power of God in Jesus Christ. His resurrection is the sign that God loves us and cares for us. It is the promise that even when we must endure trials and suffering, God has not forgotten us and will in time restore us. That was the meaning of the Easter Sunday. It is a reality we must embrace in our hearts today. And it is the truth we must proclaim to the world with conviction and love. In the beautiful words of the Armenian Church, Christos Hadiav Imerelots, Christ is risen from the dead. Says Yev Mez Mez Avedis, Shnoravor Surzadik, Happy Easter. Sireli Kurevi Yafainer Kuzem Aisor Bochunel Nergayutsuna Mez Tespani Maher Kri Koriani Vors 
միացյալ ազգերու գազմագերբության մեջ հայաստանի ներգացուցիչն է եւ որ ու հետ եւ ընդհանրապես ներգացուցիչյան հետ մեր եկեղեցին եւ առաջնորդարանը սերբ հարաբերության մեջ են գուզեմ նայել ողջունել ներգայությունը հոս մեր շատ սրելի բրայան եւ մարիա ստեփանյաններու իրենց ընտանիքի հետ ովքեր որ քիչ հետո պետք է աղավնիները ուրեմն արցագեն դուրսը անոնք երկուսը մեր թեմի 125 ամիագի համանախակահողներն են այս տարի մենք պիտի նշենք արևելյան թեմի հիմնադրման եւ ընդհանրապես ամերիկայի մեջ հայ եկեղեցու հիմնադրման 125 ամիագը Խրիմյան հայրի քայրապետը 1898 թվականին հուլիսի երկուսին իր կոնտակով հաստատեց ամերիկայի մեջ հայոց եկեղեցու թեմը եւ այս տարի 125 ամիագն է եւ բրայանը եւ մարիան պետք է գազմագերբեն միջոցառումներ այդ ուղությամբ եւ գվող չունենք եւ շնորհակալություն գայտնենք ծեզի Friends this year we celebrate 125th anniversary of our diocese Catholicos Khrimian Haidik in 1898 established the Armenian Church the diocese of the Armenian Church in the United States on July 2 and this year we'll we'll celebrate 125th anniversary and I'd like to welcome Brian and Maria Stepanian who are co-chairs to organize this beautiful celebration and later we are going to release the doves at the plaza Asvats ortnets es poloret asoshnornere khaagutyuna tseset la ais yaskanch kegetsigore shnoravor subzadik happy easter Voronez ay nosek voy kornenas keser yev sur parnes susatsiasikes Etso jogurtesko evornia jarangutyunesko Az laruma yegeretz lokovaya Serpia sosa vor gochunetsi sirov svay chuzyundanko tu asmes paravoria Աստվածա ին զորությամ կով եւ մի թողոր ասուսացիասիք ես Ասխաղություն բարքևյա ամեն այն աշխար է հայաստան արցախ աշխարհաս եւ միացյալն անկասն ամերիկա է եկեղեցյած կանայից թակավորած քրիստոնեից եւ զինվորյալ մանկանց մերոց եւ ամեն այն ժողովրդյա Amenain dul pare yev amenain barkev gadaryal ki verosen ichal gariken vores hay luso yev kes vaele park ishkanutyun yev badev aizm yev mish yev avidya saviderits amen Եղիցի եղիցի եւ եղիցի գադարուն օրինած եւ մարկարեից դու ես Քրիստոս աստված վրգիչ մեր 
Volatzer Samenain Haida Gam Donori Chutus Ko Lizievas Me Sokovat Ko Serpov Amen. Avuciun Amen Su. Serpo avedarani, si su si Christo si vores margosi. Vasen harutian jaren mero Iisusi Christosi. Mia shapatiara vodun arevazakin kerezman yegan yevidarugasein. O ve mesi hamar bidi klore kare kerezman eternen. Այս նայել ով դեսան, որ կարը մեկ տիկը լորված էր կերես մանեն, որով է դև շատ մեծ էր, կերես մանեն ներս մտնել ով դեսան երի դասարդմը, որ աչ կողմը նստած էր, ասպիտակ բատմուջան մահագած և զարհուրեցան, ու ան անարություն առավ հոս չէ ահադեղը ուր զայն թրած էին։ Հայց կացե գսեգան որ աշագերտներ ուն եվ է դրոսի, թե անցես մե առաջ կալիլի ագերթա, հոն բիդի դեսնեք զինք, ինչպես որը սացերցեսի։ Եվ եվ լսեցինք � որով է դև զարհուրած էին և ոչ մեկ ու պանսին, կանի գվախնային։ در بگور میاد، در بگور میاد، در بگور میاد. باه پانی چه بود سه داد سلوس کیستوس است باز میر باهیا باه پانی یه ورت نیاز میزن تو بانی آب سود بیب باد وگان خاچی بد کوی خاگا بودیان هرگیا دری وازدیا هر بلیه وان هر بود تش نمیاد آرژانا وریا کوتیان پر اوره لسکز انتوری ون سرپوک بود آیج میه میش تی هایی دیان است هایی دنیت آمین Սիրելիներ հիմա գհրավիր եմ, որ փորորը թուրծ կակ և եգեղեցվու արջև պլազային վրա դեղավորվիկ, որով է դև աղավնիներու արձագումը բիտի դեղի ունենա։ Հանդարդ կերբով մեկը միուսին հետևելով գխնդրեմ, and take your places on the plaza for the release of the ceremony. And afterwards, there is a reception. As you've heard, ordinarily this would conclude the service, but St. Vartan Cathedral has an Easter tradition of holding a special ceremony on the outdoor plaza, the release of doves. Father Mesrob is now going to lead the procession outside, and uh, we too will be on hand on a brisk April day for the conclusion of this broadcast. The doves will be released from the plaza in front of the cathedral. And uh, the release of dove ceremony symbolizes Christ sending out of his apostles into the world. As I said before, for decades in New York City, it's been a famous event, a famous Easter event that happens every year and is greatly anticipated by many people. Uh, certainly the faithful, you know, Armenian Christians throughout the region, but also people in New York and the surrounding area um, come out and uh, spend part of their Easter uh, watching that very special, very beautiful ceremony. 
During the pandemic, the Dove service was suspended, like so many other things, but it's a great pleasure to see it restored again as part of the Easter Sunday tradition here at St. Vartan Cathedral.
the procession has finally gotten through the crowd and is coming down onto the plaza. Father Mestro will be releasing the doves with two other people this year, the godparents of the dove ceremony, Brian and Maria Stepanian, a married couple from the New York area. The Stepanians are serving as the co-chairs of a special milestone in the life of our community, the 125th anniversary of the Armenian Church's Diocese of America. It was in 1898 that Catholicos Makartic Chrimian established this diocese, and you'll be hearing more about that celebration in the months to come. But now we're going to see the release of doves after a suspension of around four years. That was wonderful to see that again after uh, after a few years of interruption, but uh, a wonderful way to end our Easter ceremony for today. Uh, with the last dove taking flight, that concludes this year's celebration of Easter Sunday, the feast of the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ here at St. Vartan Armenian Cathedral in New York. We thank God for restoring our primate, Father Mesrobe, to us for this occasion, and our thoughts and prayers continue for his complete recovery and for all who suffer in body and spirit in these days. We are mindful that today clouds hang over our precious homeland of Armenia and Artsakh, and we will continue to pray fiercely for them to clear. But overall, it's been such a blessing to be here today and to offer you this Easter broadcast from St. Vartan Cathedral. A lot goes into putting on these broadcasts, and I want to thank the creative people who've helped bring it to you. The cathedral vicar, Father David Karamian, our photographer, Levon Mark, and our always incredible director, Yervant Kishishian. I'm Christopher Zakian, and on behalf of St. Vartan Armenian Cathedral in New York, I want to thank you for your devotion, patience, and faith and wish you safety, health, peace, and every blessing of Holy Easter. Christ is raised from the dead. Christos Haryav Imerelots. Thank you. <laughs>